If you're using multiple computers on stage, either for Ableton or main stage or video, imagine how cool it would be if all of them were perfectly in sync at all times and able to send MIDI between all of them. Hey, I'm Will Doggett, Ableton Live Certified Trainer, founder of From Studio to Stage. Today I'm gonna to show you how using simple ethernet or an ethernet switch, you can connect however many machines you want to so they're all perfectly in sync. Let's get started. So this is way easier to do than it sounds. Now to make this happen, uh, there's a couple ways we could do it. Um, one, we need one ethernet cable if we just want to directly uh, connect one machine to the other. Or in the case if we're doing multiple machines, we're gonna use a network switch. And in this situation, I have two machines and I'm using the network switch anyway. Now what you would do is come out of your computer uh, with your ethernet cable and then plug the other end of your ethernet cable into the network switch. And that's gonna keep all of those connected and one once they connect, you'll see a light pop up to show that you're getting activity, network activity between those machines. So the way we're gonna make this sync happen is using something called Network MIDI, which is built into every Mac and included for free. Super easy to set up and get going. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna to go to what's called Audio MIDI Setup, and I'm using my first machine here, my Tracks machine. I wanna make sure I'm looking at the MIDI Studio window. So if you don't see that, go up to Window, and you can do Show MIDI Studio. Now, one thing I always like to do when I'm in this setting is I wanna make sure that the preferences for this are set to show just MIDI, because that's where I am the majority of the time. So I can go to Command Comma, which opens the preference pane here. And I have when application launches set to open only specific windows and I have MIDI window chosen. So that means when I open this, it's only gonna show me the MIDI window. Again, that's what I use the majority of the time. So let's make a couple uh, tweaks and settings here to make this happen. I'm gonna press plus and that's gonna create my MIDI session. I can name this if I wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it just the default name, which is session one. And I'm gonna click the arrow there to enable it. Now down here at the bottom where it says who may connect to me, I wanna make sure that this says not only only computers in my directory, but anyone. And I also wanna make sure it's enabled here and that I have a bonjour name listed over here. If you don't, you can just type the name in and you're gonna be good to go. Now there's no need to mess with live routings unless you wanna take uh, maybe MIDI from a hardware device or from the network and route it to a hardware device. I don't like messing with that, so I leave that blank unless I really need to. Now on my other machine, I'm gonna do the same thing. Go to Audio MIDI Setup, double click Network here, and that's gonna take me again into the MIDI Network Setup, and I need to create a session on this machine. Same exact thing. Plus, I'm gonna enable that, and again, I wanna make sure who may connect to me is anyone. Now, as soon as I see that, what I end up seeing is on this machine, in directory, I see this machine listed, which is from Studio to Stage 2, and on this machine, I see this computer connected in directory, uh, which is from studio stage one. Now what I need to do is on either one, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna click the other one in directory and hit connect. And if you see that show up in participants, then you know that these two machines are connected. So on this machine, this is what it looks like here. You see under participants from studio to stage two is listed. Now the great thing about this is once I do that, I can close out both of these tabs and I'm good to go. So let me make a few settings in Ableton Live to show you how to do this. And it really depends whether in Ableton or main stage or some video software, what settings you do, but you just wanna make sure that your MIDI input is set to receive MIDI from the network. I'll show you how to do that in Ableton Live. So I'm gonna go into Live's preferences, which is command comma, and then go to the link MIDI tab. This is where I can make all my MIDI preferences and settings. Now I have both an input and output for the network. I need to think on both machines. Do I need every machine to be able to both uh, send and receive MIDI, or is this one only going to send and this one's only gonna receive MIDI? In this situation, that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, if I want to send MIDI from a track in Ableton Live, so a MIDI track that I wanna send MIDI information out of there, maybe from a clip to network back into another machine, I wanna make sure track is enabled on the output. If I want to send MIDI clock information, tempo, arrangement information from this machine to another machine, I need to make sure sync is enabled. And then finally, if I want to send some sort of control value or I want to remotely control um, this machine from another machine, I want to make sure remote is enabled on this primary machine. And I don't need it for now, so I'm going to leave that off. Now on my other machine, and again, it depends on what you're doing, 
you need to one, make sure that MIDI is set to receive from network and that on this one, I have input from network set to receive all types of MIDI data. Now, maybe I want to out of here to be able to send MIDI back out so I can turn on track there. You wanna be really careful not to create a MIDI feedback loop by say routing MIDI from this machine out and then this one getting in a loop. So you wanna be really, really careful with what you're doing. And then all we have to do to make this happen is in Ableton Live, if we wanna send MIDI to the network, then make sure in the MIDI 2 section that you selected network. And that's gonna send anything that happens in that track up to the network. On this machine, if I wanna receive what's coming from that track, then in my MIDI track, I can uh, enable MIDI from, uh, right now it's in the all ends, or I could just do network MIDI session one to make sure I only receive that. And again, remember I have channels too, so I can send MIDI on this channel and make sure on this channel I only am receiving that by going to channel 16. Now to just default sync these two machines up, uh, I don't need any tracks. Again, as long as I have sync enabled on this machine and on this machine on the input, I have sync enabled, which I do. Then I can go up here and press EXT I'll enable my metronome just so you see it. And when I press play, both of these machines are gonna start perfectly in sync. And if you want more information on that, make sure to check out our video on how to use two Ableton Live machines at the same time. Now again, this is super, super simple to do using one ethernet cable or using ethernet cables and a network switch to link all your machines together. And again, it doesn't matter whether it's Ableton Live or MainStage or what you're using, uh, you can keep all your computers in sync. So to learn more about how to have a connected stage, then make sure to head to fromstudiotostage.com where you can start a free set Seven day trial. It's going to give you access to every single course in the catalog that we've created, all access. It's going to give you access to our private community just for subscribers where you can join a group of like-minded performers that are using Ableton Live on stage. And then finally, it's also going to give you access to a monthly call that's just for subscribers. So if you're using Ableton or want to use Ableton Live on stage with a band or as a solo performer, I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. So check out, make sure to head to fromstudiostage.com and check it out. And thank Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. See you next time. Bye-bye.